Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. In the last video, we got sent to Riverside Institute, and now we're here. Let's pick up where we left off. Wait, did I want to wait? I thought it was like, investigate the bed. I guess I should have read. Okay, dream sequence. Looks like it. Hey there. Hey guys. You quadruplets doing okay? Quintuplets, I should say. Fine. I won't say anything. That's an... <laughs> That's an odd thing to say. Very peculiar, you know that? Leviathan? Pierce looks around like he just hates everything he sees. I really identify with that. I mean, resting bitch face much? I will not be here to bear witness to it, because you will have released me. But the earth will resound to your cries, or theirs. Oh no! The door was coming at us. The fake door in the dream. You there? Wake up! Come on, stand up. Okay. We don't have much time. Hang on. Who are you, Miss Well To Do? Can you stand up? I, who are you? Does it look like it? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Who are you? Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. All right. Wait a minute. I'll meet you there. Okay, hang on. Ooh, we have an unlocked answer. Let's do, uh, what do they do to patients here? What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment, for problems they didn't have before going downstairs. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. Stealth? I shall try to distract them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. I don't mean to criticize this game too heavily, but what's with her neck? They're gonna come with me. This is an indie game. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. I know a lot of people have been like, mm, the lip sync is off. Mm. What does this mean? Graphics could be better, but this isn't a triple A title. I think it's presented pretty well for what it is. What did he write about the painting? Uh, the paintings are cursed. You don't say, because you bought a lot of them. And look at you now. Burn it. Uh... Can't escape, is what it says. You can't escape. Am I in an asylum? Pierce, come on, dude. Sarah. Hmm. He wrote her name a bunch. He'll come for you. The pings are cursed. Oh, occultism. 
Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? Oh, you- come on, you know it's an elder sign! Oh, this is annoying. You wonder why you said that? Because my occultism is one point off from leveling up. If I had it at level two, I bet he'd say the elder sign. I recognize that. This is no medicine. Okay, so he, he understands that. <laughs> why the strange symbol? They've talked to us about the elder sign before. Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. Did she come here though? Hmm. Got a clue memorized in the padded cell. <laughs> Am I in an asylum? Do you hear the cackling in the background, dude? You call yourself a detective. What does this look like? All right. Let's keep going. Something funny's happening in there. Okay, let's uh, let's go. I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. Dr. Fuller sucks. I wish that guy in the back would pipe down. Holy crap. When an enemy suspects Damn your it. presence. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. Well, if you hadn't started talking, I could have read that a white marker appears, I think it said. Okay, let's get away from this dude. Let's go. Yeah. The machine is working again, but uh -oh. the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. Oh, I can bring them to you. That's Celine. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm gonna see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will ya? Oh, come on. Above all, leave the wheels where they are. You. Yeah, you there. Oh, fine. I don't Hi. know what you're doing there, but you don't seem to be friends with the nurses. Hi. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. So you want me to get you sleeping Sleep. pills? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. Yes, Pierce. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Ah, you'll create a distraction so that I may escape undetected. Yeah, that was the whole idea. Come on. I won't promise anything. Let's 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 give him the deal. I'll find you some pills. I'm fine Go with that. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. There must be. Okay, let's hope that they don't come over this way. Oh, okay, we can hide here. What is welling up inside me? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no! It's okay, he's stupid. It's okay, he's dumb. Look at him. He probably doesn't even know where I went. I went behind the mattresses. Uh-oh, oh, he's coming closer. No. 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 Is there anybody around here? Nope. <laughs> There's no one here. <laughs> oh no, he's going back. I was gonna go around behind him. Show myself. Why? What are you gonna do? No, leave. Okay, the white marker disappeared. He's none the wiser. Check out that stupid idiot. Let's follow him. <laughs> There's a dude right there! What about this? Can I do this? Can I do this? Oh. There's the archives over here. Ugh. Let's go to the archives. There's probably some files in here. I want files. And let's get up. All right. 
Anything cool in here? Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. That Dr. Fuller again. Hmm, a document attesting to the fact that Irene Sanders, wife of Francis Sanders, had her husband interned after he showed, uh, after he had shown grave signs of madness. I see. Hmm. Not good. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. You already knew that! We found a note earlier that said that she was at Riverside Institute. Come on, Pierce, get it together, man! I did just hit myself. That wasn't very smart. Sarah Hawkins was interned at uh, Riverside for fits of insanity a while before her death. She wasn't at her first attempt with the fire. Wait. She wasn't at her first attempt with the fire at the mansion. What does that mean? She wasn't interned? I guess that's what that means. Hard to tell. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy. And a full shelf on cephalopods. Cephalopods, my favorite. What's with the music? Building to a climax. Oh! That's why somebody's on patrol. Good God. What could this machine be used for? I don't know, man. Oh, this doesn't look good. Let's go in here, though. What's this? What's all this? Worse and worse. Medicine? Vats of rotten flesh? An elaborate electrical system? Like a dumb pulp novel. Pulp. Ooh. What's the connection between this meat and the electrical installation? He doesn't know. My Our medicine isn't leveled up enough, I guess. Okay, so there's a, this is a puzzle right here. There's some sort of... This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. You don't say. Let's go into this closet. Is this the storage room? Let's close it. The green gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. This valve controls the pressure. What am I doing here? So I lowered the pressure. I think I can actually explore now in here. Dr. Fuller, I've repaired your machine as best I can. However, the piping has been damaged and I fear that gas is escaping. I cannot do any more in such a short time. All I can do is warn you, the equipment is put under too much pressure. There is a risk of explosion. Z. Allen Mechanic. So, we could create an explosion as a distraction. That'd be one hell of a distraction. The control wheel is missing. Mmm. Okay. The man, there's lots of, lots of things to do in this uh, chapter. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. Examine. A duct. Interesting, that could be a way out. What does this do? I increase the pressure. What if I increase the pressure here? An explosion! I, I think I probably need to have three. Oh, but I'm missing a valve wheel. Okay, so I can't actually do anything in here yet. Ooh! Last week's incident caused significant damage to the infrastructure, putting a stop to current experiments. This is unacceptable. From now on, the wheels to operate the gas stop cocks. What? Must be kept in the storage room after each use. So we gotta go to the storage room. Moreover, you must keep the register of use up to date, Dr. Fuller. So we gotta find the storage room. Where is the storage room? There's a spot hidden here. Breviary of Medicine, Tome 1, this heavy tome, the first in a series of three volumes, is the bedside book of every experienced practitioner. It contains all the recent advances in uh, modern medicine. It is frequently found in the libraries of major medical universities. It's surprising to discover a copy in such an isolated place as Darkwater. Cool. Medicine progression. Now there is a, a hint. Aha! Here it is. I could use this control wheel to turn the valve I saw. So wait, so this is the storage room. Oh, that's the storage room. Okay. Can I can I pick this? Can I pick it? I think they're on their way. This padlock is too complicated for me. Oh! He's coming over here, I think. Uh-oh, I'm kind of trapped here. Oh my gosh. Good thing I did that. 
There he is. Hang on. He's going out that way. Perfect. Here we go. This is it. What? Did he become suspicious? I think he might have. Let's hide in here. Thank God there's these closets everywhere. Apparently I can't stay in them for too long though. My dude does not like being in there. Okay. What's up dude? Key to the maintenance room, key to the guards room. Nice, we got- we got the keys. There- there are? I got a wheel. Uh oh. I got two wheels. He's not coming back, is he? Uh-oh. I think we got a walker. Nope. You there. Ah! Hey. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Don't get me. No! Don't look in the closets! Closing that. Pharmacy. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Where do they keep their sleeping pills? That's a great question. Oh! <gasps> no! What? Scopolamine. Morphine, opium, nothing but common drugs. Bye bye! What this? History of medicine in the 19th century. The colossal work of an aristocrat from a long generation of physicians result in this encyclopedic work on medicine. We get it, it's about medicine. You can learn a lot about medicine with it. Let's close that. So, sleeping pills though. Sleeping pills, though. Are they just not in here? Wait. Sleeping pills. Small bottle of sleeping pills. Probably used on patients who have trouble sleeping to find slumber. My new friend's sleeping pills. Okay, let's give that guy sleeping pills. Oh, oh, oh. oh! <laughs> I thought he went the other way. I thought he went the other way! No one! No one! <laughs> Who's there? Don't come over here, dude! Go back outside! Come on, go away! Okay, leaving. Scopolamine, morph. My new friend's sleeping pills. That's the storage room. Oh my god. Oh no. I gotta get into the storage room. He's right there. Uh. Let's close those. What's in here? Oh my god, the storage room is horrible! The door is blocked on the other side. Crap. Aha! Oh my gosh, it's just a wheel. Oh no. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, here we go. I've got what you want. Yeah. Show me. <laughs> Ooh, show me them. Give the sleeping pills. And remember, they don't come for free. That's right. You don't owe me. Don't you worry. You'll have your diversion. Go on now. Go hide yourself. I got an achievement. The crows. Sand They're man. everywhere. Make them go away. I guess I'll hide myself here. Okay, I can go here actually for once. What? what carnage. This is crazy, dude. What Have I this? activated anything? I don't know. That's a good question. Wow. Look at all this. Dr. Fuller's an asshole. He's still talking to him. That's good. It says create a diversion, but I feel like we have. Oh, hi. History of medicine in the 20th century. The last opus deals with the history of modern medicine. Great. Yeah, we get it. What did I activate, though? Okay, we gotta follow the red cable. Follow the red cable. See, red cable goes in here. Of course, we also got the yellow cable. Which is right here. It's done. Now for the others. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, we also got the green cable. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Yeah, and that would be green, which is where? Where's green? Is it this? I can still increase the load. Okay, where's green though? This is the this is the green cable. It runs along the side here. And it disappears back behind here. Oh wait, oh no, it goes out this way. Oh, it's this way. What? Green cable this way. Oh my gosh, it's over. Uh oh. No, no. Go inside. Close the door. Hang on, what's going on in here? Oh my gosh, I can go in the vents? Where does this go though? Oh, I think it goes behind. So there are two different ways that you can create a diversion, I think. I think you can use the levers or you can use the wheels. That's interesting. Pinchers, okay. Right, so I can pinch these off. Okay, so th if you wanted to do the wheel, you could do it here. This lever must turn on the gas. Now for the next step. Right, gotcha. Okay, so there's one of the wheels. There we go. Brought the pressure up. So I got these three wheels totally on. Now I can do this one too. I think I have three wheels. Oh wait, is this it? <laughs> we created a diversion. Got to hide before the guards see me. Right. Yeah. Who did this? Yeah, that's right. 
I think I, I preferred to do the wheels over the levers, valves, whatever, because this is closer to the entrance or the exit where I need to go. I think. So here's the exit, right? Oh, we just get to walk out a free man, except we're gonna try. What's in here? What's up, dude? We could have just left, but we're gonna talk to you instead. Doctor, is that you? Not exactly. Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. I'm mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You need treatment. Oh, I'm locked out of that. My medicine isn't high enough. What'd they do to you? You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. And the real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. Mm. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. Uh, it was Sarah Hawkins who invoked this curse. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's hmm. going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! Don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it! That's how it finds you. What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor. The Shambler. Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. I got an achievement. The aficionado of horror. No! Sanders! What? <laughs> What the hell? Oh God. I got I got it. Uh That sucks. This but... is insane. What killed him? I don't know. Are there any clues though? Let's go up here though. Is this the exit? I need oil. <coughs> oh! Ow, 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 ow! <coughs> okay, okay. <coughs> Where's this go? Okay, okay, I get it! I'm leaving! I left, okay? Damn! Yes. Did it kill me? Oh, my head. What? Later. We need to move on. What? That was a that was an awkward ending. But I guess we're in chapter six. In the Hawkins Mansion. Pierce woke up in an asylum installed in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Colden, a female friend of Bradley, who helped him to escape. 
Wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fuller reigned supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man named Francis Sanders, excuse me, before dying in full view of the detective, he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Colden. The companions in misfortune decided to use the Hawkins mansion as a hideout. Huh? Skipped a lot there. So he inhaled the gas, passed out, woke up, said my head hurt. Bradley said, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, and then we passed out again and we're on the slowing screen. I'm not sure I get it. Awkward transition for sure. Who goes there? Dude, what is real? <laughs> that nightmare again. I need a drink. No, you don't. That was a one time thing. Okay. Hang on, before we move on. We got points to spend. Okay, so I wanna I wanna clarify something. Cause some people were telling me, why don't you just put points in occultism or medicine? And I showed this I showed this on video, I thought, but medicine and occult skills can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. So I actually don't have any control with like CP points. I don't have any control over distributing them to these. I have to find items in the environment. Which apparently, I don't know, apparently I haven't been discovering as much medicine as I thought. I feel like we've been finding a lot of the books. I'm trying to decide if I want spot hidden, investigation, or psychology. I definitely don't want strength. I think I want spot hidden. I think I want expert spot hidden. And then I'll do investigation, then psychology. I think that's my strategy. So that's what I got. Uh-oh. So these are these are mental traumas. The death of Francis Sanders, macabre discovery, the ritual. I I skipped one of them. Interesting. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Good. Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. Okay. Hi. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Why am I looking over Bradley, here? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? My occultism isn't high enough to say Sarah Hawkins was the object of a cult. How am I missing so many of these occult medicine things? I feel like it's not counting some of them. Is that wrong? Let's talk to, I don't trust Bradley. Let's talk to Colton. Okay. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Great question. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. 
Do you wish to know anything else? Yeah, let's go. I saw dead bodies. Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. This is why I don't like Bradley. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Okay. Uh, well, we've already done these, so... Uh, I wish I could say this. I have to be professional in occultism, which means three out of five. How is it possible to have three out of five occultism at this point? I'm not even level two. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He... No, Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. He called him the Shambler. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife. Irene Sanders. I guess. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. Of course. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. <sighs> Let's say prudent. You're right. Fuck you, Bradley. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, Let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. This will affect your destiny. Very well. Cthulhu I'll will go remember to see that. Widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll try, old friend. I'll try. All right. Bye bye, guys. Could talk to him some more, but honestly. Bradley makes you want to puke. <laughs> Wait, what? Hang on. Why does the mansion look different? Oh, wait, no, this is... I'm getting this mixed up with the other hallway, right? Am I? I'm so confused. Pierce, Colden, and Bradley decided to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new trail to follow. Francis Sanders, an art collector and friend of the painter, who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the shambler that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. Well, we're just going to come out of the gate with the icebreaker. So, oh, does the phrase the shambler mean anything to you? Enter madness. <laughs> I love it. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. Oh, I know. That is precisely I was there. what brings me here. Well, Cat. Well, look who's here. Hi. You know each other. Our paths crossed, briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. 
It's better that it's you bumping into me. Well, shut You're up. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. See ya! Well, Miss Baker. Bye-bye! This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Bye, cat. Don't steal anything while you're in there, okay? I'm watching you. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Oh. Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. Mm -hmm. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. You don't want to know why. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Oh my. He died screaming right before my eyes. Uh, you must not feel guilty. <laughs> why would we say this? Let's say it. Should we say it? It requires psychology. What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Cthulhu will remember Nobody that. in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? Hold to test eloquence. Ha! Mrs. Sanders, I understand your grief, and I extend my deepest condolences to you. But I had nothing to do with the death of your husband. I've just arrived on Dark Water. I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. The death of the Hawkins family? You mean it was not an accident? Nope. Oh, this accursed island knows only tragedy after tragedy. You too would be advised to flee it like the plague. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me and then leave. Did he speak to you of a shambler? Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The shambler is a painting. Hang on. By Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Do you have any books on Thank medicine? Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. I am going to look at every single thing you own, though. I gained two CP. Ooh. How much do we have? Four? Okay. I want to get investigation up. But I guess I'll have to wait. Hey. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. That's it? That's the Shambler? A photograph of Sarah Hawkins next to the Sanders. They must be close. Wow. Oh, we can reconstruct? Hang on, hang on. Breviary of Medicine, Tome 2. Okay, so... See, it's not counting it. That's why I don't understand. It's like, I just got a CP from that, but it's not increasing. Medicine progression. 
but then it's it's not increasing. I don't understand. Okay, I just looked at the Steam discussions and apparently there's at least one other person having this problem where they get medicine books, but they don't get points for it. Which is very annoying because I need CP to level this skill. And I just got it. I, I've gotten like three medicine books in this session and I haven't gotten any points for any of them. What the hell? Okay. Well, we'll just reconstruct this scene. Okay, let's look around. So yeah, I'm annoyed about that, but whatever. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe lovers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? Hmm. She knew its power. A house of artists. <laughs> That's all you gotta say about it, huh? Examine the Shambler! Is it this right here? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Hmm. <laughs> She's face palming over here. She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? She despises Sarah Hawkins, but mm. it's the painting she truly hates. Why? Interesting. So my psychology wasn't high enough to determine what Sarah Hawkins was um, feeling, but it was high enough to determine what Irene was feeling. Oh, I'm gonna fail this. Ah! <laughs> Ow! My occultism isn't high enough. The Shambler. I need to see it. Can I get occultism points for looking at it, please? I'm sorry, I know I keep going on and on about it, but... This is a weird thing. Look at this. I wish I could look at it for occultism points. Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop mentioning it. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. An audio recording that Francis Sanders left for his wife, Irene. Really? Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids each time I shut my eyes. Hmm. Okay. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. She didn't like that. Okay. Well, sorry. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. I like the decor in here. Red walls and everything. Cat, there you are. Let me look at this book. Would you read the book? Read the book. I got an achievement beyond reality. Malleus Bestiarium, this will affect your destiny. I guess Cthulhu's gonna have to remember a lot of things. There's a kind of encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. I got, I got occultism. Did it do it? It did it. See, okay, it gave me a CP for that. So it is working a little bit. I don't quite get that. Strength. <laughs> Gotta be real strong to open this tiny box. Key to the Sanders Gallery. We'll talk to Cat in a second. What? Dissertation on an anatomical question. 
Okay, so is this medicine? Did I get it? I got it that time. I don't understand. I got it that time. All right. A strange Amerindian pendant. I wonder what its purpose could be. Who knows? I got an, an occultism point. It's like I gotta check every time to make sure that I did. I did get it. I guess it's just some of them that don't count. The Whale and the Cod, or A Brief History of Darkwater by Erwin Greenmouth, is focused on the past glory of the island. I could use one of those. Sleeping pills. I found these sleeping pills in the Sanders house. Were they prescribed by Fran to Francis Sanders or to Irene? I'm finding these sleeping pills everywhere. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. It was the gift, right, from, I forgot that it was the gift. Dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning for you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler. Your friend Sarah Hawkins. Why didn't she just, like, burn it? Did it keep reconstructing itself, or what? Another volume of the Reverend's Wife's Diary. Have I been reading these? This volume spends some time on Reverend Wickwood's community. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend's congregation are having since their arrival on the island. Some members of the community, her husband included, began to speak of their vision as a messenger sent by God. She is scared that they will suffer the same fate as the lost tribe. Oh no. All right, we have to talk to Cat. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. I'm a bad boy. What have you come boy. looking for in this gallery? Hold a test eloquence. I've got to verify the paintings for a buyer. I have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Perfect, detective. The pretext, the body language, I would have bought it if it was the first time I'd seen your face. You're a good talker, Pierce. Your story will do for the moment. Interesting. I wonder if I had had like five out of five eloquence if she would have actually been convinced. And you! And you. What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Nah, not particularly. Bye. Where are you going? Gonna liquidate something on the desk? All right. Yeah, let's go. I didn't need to lockpick it. I had the key. Phew. Game saved. Damn straight it was. Oh, come on. You can get so many occult points if you just look at these. Wow. What the heck? Oh. Neat. Golly, where did he get all this stuff? Mask. Lots of masks and knives. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Wow. Look at all these. Super cool. Why can I hide in here? I don't like that. Man, this gallery, there's the shambler back there, but we're not gonna go straight for it, of course. The public entrance to the gallery. We're gonna look around a bit. Oh, oil. Thanks. Can pull this out then. Okay, so I'm not really getting anything interesting out of any of these pieces. And I've walked by and examined all of them. So I guess we'll just head straight for the shambler. Oh, what's this? Whoa ho ho. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection? Almost. Or was he it. seeking to acquire it? Far from possessing the talents of Sarah Hawkins, Sanders drew a dagger with a tortured form down to the smallest detail. The guard carries a strange esoteric symbol, a recurring feature of his correspondence with Sarah. 
Uh, okay, let's go. out Is Pierce some sort of, like, catalyst? What the hell was that? What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it got me. I was like impossible to hide from that thing. That was loud. Oh my god. How do you hide from that thing? Oh my god. Well, looks like it works this time. Although I can't stay in here for very long. Zombie's right outside. I gotta wait till he leaves. Pierce does not like being in this closet, though. Let's get out. So, can I go out this way? What? Touch it. What? No way out. No choice. I must get rid of it. How? Uh oh. Good. Ooh, that was close. Damn. Did it hear that? I think it might have. I get the knife. Get the knife. Maybe I can use this dagger. Okay. Probably not on the shambler, but on the painting. Do I stab the painting? Okay, here I go. Here I go. Damn it. This dagger didn't work. What? I gotta find a specific dagger? Okay, let's just start trying them, I guess. Damn it! Damn it! No, he got me! <laughs> Different kill animation, though. Different kill animation, that's kinda neat, okay. This dagger... Looks different. That sounds promising. Go. Go. Yeah! Stab it in the face!
I like when he's scared he gets bangs. His hair gets all in his face. Don't do it. Don't do it. What's the matter with you? Huh? I got an achievement from beyond. Oh, leave me alone, cat. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. Did I say that? You didn't say anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Cultism isn't high enough. Let's 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 see if we can get away with this, seeing we're attacked by a creature. I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I I think so too. What? She bought it! Wait, you didn't hear anything? I ran, screamed, broke a pane of glass. You were in the next room and you didn't hear a thing. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. Yeah, okay, I, I thought that was, was a weird blocked. thing. I got in say. as soon as I could. I like to look after my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm talking about the contents of this Pierce. gallery. Come and on. by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. What, are you going to take it? You should talk to Algernon Drake. <gasps> He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. We saw him in the bar. Yeah, he was like muttering to himself. We couldn't talk to him. I really should talk to this Drake. The creature. This dagger was the only weapon capable of pushing it back. If Hawkins was trying to get rid of this shambler, she might have made contact with Drake. This antique dealer has a good knowledge of the occult. I have nothing to lose by meeting him. You've got your spunk back. Go where you want. I'm staying here to talk business with Irene. I'm not asking you to come with me. Bye! Wait, uh-oh. Is that the box I opened? No, it's a different box. Okay. The box that I had a strength check for? And I passed? Chapter 7, The Nameless Bookstore. The Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins, as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back into the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named Algernon Drake, owner of the Nameless Bookstore. I can't think of a more Lovecraftian name than that. Pierce decided to pay the library a visit. Cool! Let's enter Madness and then we'll end the video. Let's see what we're getting into in the next video. Okay. Where is the bookseller? He's in the bar, don't you remember? Okay, yeah, all right. Well, uh, so we, we saw a bit of action in this episode. Gotta say, I, I didn't love the Asylum part, but it did feel like the most fleshed out of any of these sequences. Like, I think there was some stuff I missed in there and I felt like I covered every square inch. I didn't show all of it on video, but I pretty much went everywhere I could in that. Uh, asylum that I was in. I know that we're probably gonna have like an offbeat chapter here where we just inspect the bookstore and we look at books and notes and read a lot. So maybe chapter eight will have some action-packed thrills. Lovecraft isn't exactly all about action-packed thrills. And that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with more slow burn. But obviously for making entertaining videos, it is nice to have a little bit of, you know, heart pumping action. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Call of Cthulhu so far. I'm still really enjoying it. Uh, and I like the RPG elements more than I expected. I just wish that uh, occultism and medicine, like, worked properly 
in my opinion, there's there's a little little something off there, but maybe I'm just mistaken. So we'll level up something in the next episode. Probably going to be investigation. Four out of five investigation would be nice. But I'll see you guys then. Think critically.